you would think after nearly two years of playing this game that I'd learn not to make the same mistakes over and over again. You'd think for one moment that I'd have some actual tactical acumen, but no. Here I am again with two more examples of me being an absolute idiot. And it's not even like it's a new way of being stupid that I can learn from. It's the same problem. Let's have a look through the archive of my videos to show you what I mean. The very first video I did about a game was Look Out Sir. Good lord, I look weird. Anyway, apart from misremembering a rule that was in 9th edition that is no longer in 10th edition, the main problem I had here was overextending too early and running out of steam for the later turns. So round 1 and 2, I got quite a lot of score, but I just couldn't hold on to it because of my overextending into the enemy's face. And let's have a look at the next video. I lost in the first move. What happened? I overextended too early. Tried to get into the face turn 1, failed, ran out of models in turns 2 onwards, lost the game. In this one, I made that same mistake. I exactly the same mistake. Overextended turn 1, failed a charge, out of position, died. There have been two videos about games I've actually won, but both both of them were because of skew things that were outside of my control. This first one was because the mission was weird and we were playing a low points game, which meant that I kind of had an advantage going in. And this one, which was a Thousand Suns was a Death Guard game before the data slate, which meant I couldn't possibly lose because my army was just so much better. I mean, I certainly tried by completely failing to understand how my army worked, but yeah, it really wasn't one I could lose. To illustrate that point, I recently played Steve again post data slate Thousand Suns vs Death Guard, and the point differential is around 500 points. So essentially, I was playing a 2000 point game versus a 1500 100 point game. And guess what I did in that game? I overextended turn one, was out of position, ran out of steam in turn three onwards, and lost. And to make matters worse, this was after a game I'd played in the Crusade, the final game of round one of the Crusade, where I overextended turn one, was put out of position, got destroyed, ran out of steam, and couldn't complete the mission, and lost. And to add yet another layer onto this astronomical pile of stupidity, in both of these games, I was going in with the mindset to not make this mistake. And yet, I don't know what it is, something in my brain, something just twigs. As soon as I get the first turn, I just decide I've got to attack something as fast as possible. Realistically, I should really be playing Orcs. So let's go through both of these games about the mistakes I made and why I made them. The why I made them is because I'm an idiot, but we could probably go a bit deeper than that. Why am I an idiot? Is it just a natural proclivity of mine to be absolutely stupid when it comes to playing Warhammer? Or is there a more complex and intricate answer to this? Probably not, but let's find out anyway. So this being Crusade, there's probably a couple of oddities here because of the Crusade rules around some of the units that have extra rules that they don't normally have. So I'll explain those as I go through. The mission here is aptly named Screaming Into The Void. The Screaming Ravens are the attackers and the Imperial Guard are the defenders. Very simple mission. Defenders need to defend these objectives. The attackers need to send a signal from one of them. At the start of each of the attacker's shooting phases, the attacker can select one unit from the army that is not battle shot and is eligible to shoot, and that unit is tasked to send the signal, and until the end of the attacker's turn is not eligible to shoot or declare a charge. At the end of the defender's next turn, if the unit is within range of the objective marker the attacker controls, the signal has been sent. If the signal gets sent at any point, attackers win. If not, defenders win. This is the position after the pre-move, so there's a few scout moves, a few redeploys. The Vanguard veterans here obviously don't normally have scout, but they do have scout because in Crusade I have upgraded them to be able to scout move 9 inches, so they've got quite a big range from the start of the turn. Basically a 21 inch move and then a charge. Within this Storm Raven, I have a Brutalis and three Melter Centurions because I really like that combo. And I also have three Flamer Centurions in Strategic Reserves. Looking at this board makes me cringe so hard because it was such an easy win for me. I don't know how I screwed this up. It was just, I knew what I wanted to do, and yet somehow, some way, I just failed miserably. And even though I had a very, very good first turn, very, very lucky, in fact, to the point where my opponent was pretty much ready to concede with how bad the rolls are, I'd put myself in such a terrible position that even though I was doing a lot of destroying, I just couldn't get the mission done. Here's the position I was in at the end of turn one. And it doesn't look that bad, right? I managed to kill his tank commander, which whiffed on its return fire, and kill a lot of these two units down here, killed this transport and killed another vehicle up at the top with my Vanguard veterans on the charge. So yeah, I did quite a lot of destruction. <clears throat> May I remind you that the objective is to just do a signal on one objective. One of them. Not all three, not two, one of them. And in my head, I had a really good idea. Vanguard veterans are super fast. This top corner here, not very well defended. Everything seems to be more to the bottom here. Let's get the Vanguard veterans involved and take that objective. So, why, Paul, 
did you decide to throw all of your big shooting towards the Bane Blade? Okay, I get it. At the time, I was thinking, I need to kill his tank commander. The tank commander seems pretty important. Does a lot of damage. Does a lot of orders and stuff. Let's get that out of the way turn one if I can. And I did, which is great. I'd also heard these Death Corps are Krieg with the Legends unit that makes everything really super powerful. And the Psyker in there was a really annoying unit to get rid of. So I thought I'd get rid of that as well. And that would clear up another objective. But let me remind you of my deployment. Why didn't I just send the Storm Raven towards the top corner to help destroy that Lehman Russ and take the objective? This, this was such an easy win. There's nothing he could do within the next two rounds to destroy everything on that point. And I, I would have won. I went into this going, don't overextend turn one. Just try and do what you can. Get those objectives. Play the objectives. And then just immediately went, car, car, motherfucker, and just charged right in. You play the objective. I, what can I do from here? The Vanguard veterans don't have a pistol. They have Storm Shield, so they're a bit more defended. But they're in a Lehman Rust. The Lehman Rust is just to wipe them. They can do nothing back to it. They have no backup coming from anything else. Am I realistically taking out a Bane Blade? Probably not. And I probably aren't going to be able to kill those Death Corps of Krieg with a lot of Melter shots. So this flank is also not going to be doing much. And especially because he can start pulling stuff around that will actually help him defend. Imperial Guard are going to struggle to get all that stuff up to that top corner because of all of that terrain in the way. But no, my brain, being infinitely wise, went, let's just kill everything. Let's just go everywhere. I spread out everything. Overextended turn one. Out of position. Got killed. I just could couldn't capitalize because I don't have that much that takes objectives. I have incursors, which are slow and really couldn't move over to an The things that have done really well in my crusade have been my centurions. Why? Because I put them in strategic reserve, so they can't possibly overextend turn one because they aren't there turn one. Their whole thing is coming in turn two or turn three to clean up my mess. That's what they do. And then going from that game, fresh in my mind, to the rematch of Thousand Suns versus Death Guard, what do I do? Extend turn one again. This time it's even more baffling. I send Magnus and my Scarab Occult Terminators to this objective here. I just put Magnus in the middle of the field and said, come at me, bro. And he actually survived quite well. He survived longer than he should have and did a lot of damage. But then after he died, what what else do I have? I have, I have yes, I've got Scarab Occult Terminators over here doing nothing while Death Guard sweep the rest of the board. Ah, I'm so mad at myself. And th the problem is, is I know I'm making these mistakes as I do them, but the turn one always goes quite well for me. And it's that thing in my brain where I see the opportunity and I know that usually these opportunities work out well for me in the moment short term I get quite a good bump up in terms of either objectives or shooting or getting stuff off the board but I know it never lasts but the problem is is as soon as I start doing it and start thinking about it I forget about the part where oh yeah the later game that's a future pause problem I would love to make a video about a game where I genuinely did quite well genuinely won based on my own ability as of this recording I actually have a game coming up this week so I really really hope that I can temper my bloodlust and just calm down and try and get a win. Call, call, bang, fuck, I'm dead. If I went back in time, I'd probably start an army that really plays into the way I like to play. Something like Orcs or World Eaters, which are all about just getting in your face turn one. But even with those armies, you've got to play the objective. And I always try and think about that. I always think about the objective. But for some reason, I just get kill hungry immediately. I see an opportunity, a drop of blood in the water, and I go absolutely berserk. And then from there, I've just got no battle plan. Are there any mistakes like this that you make over and over again? Anything that you do that always seems to cause you problems? Please let me know in the comments. Or maybe it's just me being absolutely stupid and unable to learn from my mistakes but in any case thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did like comment subscribe all the youtube stuff i'm getting worse at that and i'll see you next time thank you very much for watching